It is time for Emerald Eats, where we highlight amazing food in our area. Yes, today we are joined by Brian Ralston, the owner of Brian Ralston Culinary Creations. Welcome to you. Thank you. Hi. It, we are like all cozy in here yeah. today because it smells so good we in here. We heard there were burgers and we all wanted to try it. Everybody crowded in. <laughs> yeah, so you've already gotten started here, but uh, tell us a little bit about uh, the services that you provide. You do private events and pop-ups, too. Yeah, so I do private pop-ups. I do private dinners, uh, also small group catering. Uh, uh, in the Puget Sound area, and uh, yeah, I just have fun with it. Awesome. Cool. Uh, I'm ready to eat. What are we making? Uh, today we're making a southwestern beef slider, and then I also have a veggie option that I Yay. made with a black bean burger. Perfect. Yeah, we yeah. wanted to get it uh, started here a little bit er early because, you know, it takes a little while to cook meat. You know, yeah. Yeah. totally raw. <laughs> so, uh, you know, the, these types of sliders, I saw you had a, a thing that you push down on top of it. Yeah, so the burger burger smasher yeah. definitely Burgers helps it to uh, cook a little bit faster and then also helps to caramelize the outside of the meat. Okay. Is that the official name for it? The burger, burger smasher, smasher. is a burger smasher. smasher. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> if he had to fight with it. <laughs> so, Ryan, you feature local farm to table ingredients. Where do you source most of your items? Uh, so, most of my items come from the local farms down in Olympia and uh, Lacey area. Awesome. Uh, farmers market shopping. And then I also source my beef from P&W Beef out of Ellensburg, Washington. Okay, I love yeah. that. So love keeping it local in the Pacific Northwest. Me too. Why is this, wouldn't you? Is this the full setup? If, if you're cooking at somebody's house, is this the full setup you bring? Mm, uh, I actually cook over live fire. I have a oh. big oh. Santa Maria, Santa Maria Acedera grill that we I We just bring. learned that there is a smoke detector right there. <laughs> the open flame wouldn't work that for would TV. Not, no. no. <laughs> and what do you put in the vegetarian version? Do you make this patty yourself? I did. Ooh, what's uh, it? I made it last night, and it is uh, black bean. It has garlic in it, has onion in it, uh, chili powder, cumin, uh, and Ooh. then egg and breadcrumb as the binder. Awesome. Uh, right up your alley, girl. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So what's the secret for you to, to cook a really nice meat patty there? Um, oh, what, are you, what are you doing there? Well, <laughs> so, <laughs> there you go. so what we're doing here is I'm putting this over to finish it off to melt the cheese on top. But really one of the things that a lot of people kind of mess up when they're cooking in, in, in beef um, is all about temperature. Mm -hmm. So if you bring your beef patties, they, you know, USDA recommends 165 degrees, but if you bring it up to 155 and then let it rest, it'll come up to that temp, but keep all the juices in the meat without a drying. Nice. Okay. I know you want to flip yeah. once, too, yeah. right? Uh, you can flip more than once. I think oh, that's kind of a people flipping and flipping and flipping. And flipping. Right over, right over. But how it's many really... times can you use the burger smasher? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Probably just one. That's awesome. All right. And how'd, you, how'd you get started doing what you do? Uh, so, actually, I just retired from the Army after 23 years. Oh, congratulations. Uh, last year, and this had always been a dream of mine to get into the culinary side of the house. Uh, it helped me deal with some of the stress issues I was having yeah. uh, in the military and I just continued the culinary experience outside after I retired. That's incredible. So, and, and it helped. And and absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yep, absolutely. Wonderful. Yeah. All so right. after you're done cooking the meat here, what are some of the accoutrements that you put on? Because that's also Ooh. important. That okay, looks yeah, yeah, fancy words. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So in this case, uh, because it's a southwestern style burger uh -huh. slider, we did a hand smashed guacamole. Mm -hmm. We Delicious. did a fresh pico de gallo. Uh, we've got shredded lettuce, we've got uh, pepper jack cheese melted on the beef side of the house, and then I make up a cilantro lime crema that's absolutely Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. Is that on here? Those, those are things. all on there, yes. Now we're talking. Oh, There's goodness. nothing like a fresh guac. Beautiful. No, definitely not, definitely not. That I've right never there. done the pan thing. Put it on yeah, the bun. That that's, that's all, all you want? Okay. Yeah. So we're going to put this on the on the tiny burger bun, the slider yeah. bun. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start building this thing, and we'll Stop build it out really quick. That's a perfect burger right there. <laughs> Can he just have a plain one? <laughs> just a plain one. Dry Can we order a dry cheese. one for baby? Yeah. <laughs> So we'll just throw that on there. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Does he, wow. not, does he not eat lettuce? He does. Stuff? He's an anti-accoutrement kind of guy. Oh. But you know what? We're That's not. okay. But I'm good at trivia. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Are you though? Are, Are you? Are you? Yeah. 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 Beautiful. Get that on there. Oh, it's really good. That's yeah, it does. Awesome. And then hit this. Oh, up. the crema. I think there's going to be yeah. a fight for this delightful burger. Oh, my God. We got, we got extras. Four of us we got staring. extras. <laughs> and oh, beautiful. just like that. All right, we got about a minute. It. We got to try these things. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, delicious. And there you All guys right. go. I'm so, jumping on awesome. the veggie one, too. <laughs> so go ahead. Are you supposed to take the stick out? 
I would take the stick. Okay. No, I never know. Are you supposed to take the stick out? Shake the when, you, when you take your first it. bite, you keep know? the stick in. I'm not saying eat it. Don't might, eat like, the stick. Yeah. You might get a together. piercing you don't want. Mm. Mm. I'll do the vegetarian one more. Mm. Oh my gosh, this is so delicious. Yum. Mm -hmm. Wow. That fresh guacamole makes uh -huh. a big yeah. difference. Yes, mm -hmm. absolutely. And you want to make it the morning of. Yes. Oh. Because mm -hmm. if you let it sit out too long, it'll it start to brown dark. a little mm -hmm. Do you put lime in your that's vegetables? Delicious. Oh, yeah. that's my favorite. So Cheers. lime, so sea salt, black pepper. Mm. Yeah. Beautiful. Uh, Ryan, so thank awesome. you so much for joining Absolutely. us today. Yes, you can <laughs> actually find more on Ryan Ralston Culinary Creations up on our website, box13seattle.com. Mm -hmm. And oh, your 13 Huge lines. thanks to Jody and Bender. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Thanks for coming down to our house, too, you guys. We had a lot of fun. It was a twofer. It was a twofer. Hey, go out there and make it a great day. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye.